So after a month of SMMA, I'm making per month. Unless you're living under a rock, you've heard of SMMA all over the internet and how easy it is to make money with it. So I decided to try it and it actually went decently well considering how little work I put into it. And after all, I'm just a high schooler who spent some of my free time trying this out. And basically this video is just going to be how I found clients, how I message them, how I price myself, you know, stuff like that. And I'll also be telling you if I think you should start a social media marketing agency and who it's really meant for. SMMA, aka a social media marketing agency, is using social media to promote pretty much anything. A really popular SMMA service is Facebook ads which was popularized by Iman Godzi. I thought about a ton of different services I could try and researched a ton of ideas for a few days and then I found my service. I saw a random TikTok video about editing short form content for YouTubers so they could post it on TikTok and I was instantly interested. I've been editing for years and have a ton of experience growing social media accounts so this was perfect for me. Now all this happened before I even thought about making a video about SMMA so I actually reached out to a few people and got some lucky responses. So keep in mind, this isn't even day one yet. I just learned about the business model and decided to message some random creators and pitch them my service. I have no clue how, but somehow I managed to book a call with a streamer that averages about 350 viewers and really had no clue what my service even was. We planned a call for 10.30 p.m. So I made a little bit of a script. I got dressed and I went into my garage because it was a little bit late and I didn't want to wake up my family. I took a video of the call, so I'll show you my setup. This is my setup. So I'm sitting right here. I have my computer here. I had to take this desk i didn't really have much time but i'm not gonna embarrass myself and show you the whole call so here's this it's currently 10 27 p.m on a is it Monday? Monday night, yes. The call is scheduled for 10.30, so three minutes. I'm not super prepared. I don't have a mic, and obviously I'm in my garage. Hopefully it goes well. Anyway, she ended up saying she had a budget of 20 to $30 a month, which is way too low, so I ended up politely declining. And at that point, I just kind of let go of the social media marketing agency for a bit, and I didn't really think of it for the next few weeks. Like I said, this is before day one even started. That is until I watched a video from a YouTuber called Crispy Concords about donating to small streamers. Okay, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, he actually donated to a streamer that I found pretty entertaining in his video So I ended up hitting up the streamer and pitching my service And I knew he had the money for it this time because in the video I watched the youtuber donated him $1,100 he responded to my DM and I ended up sending a free sample which was terrible by the way But he responded but I'm jacking it and I mess with your editing I sent him over a picture of a Google Doc with my prices which were extremely cheap and he ended up choosing the $100 a month option where I'd post five videos for him on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. Now, obviously this was extremely cheap, but I was just still playing around with the SMMA idea. This is still day zero. And I ended up doing a different type of clip for him. Instead of doing highly edited clips like this, videos learning how to trade, half of the comments are either telling me how terrible I am. I just did short clips from his streams like this. I got him as a client without hopping on a call, without showing my face, without any testimonials. Honestly, this guy should not have trusted me, but I was gonna do my service first and he'll pay after, so he really didn't have much to worry about. There wasn't much interaction or questions from him. I kind of just said, I'll start posting on this day on all three platforms and I'll give you the ads to all the accounts. And after I got that client, I finally decided to start researching SMMA and actually trying to start my short form content agency. And this is what I would consider day one. Basically, I just transformed an old Instagram account I had into my agency account. I had no posts, 1,000 followers, and a really basic profile picture. One thing I since learned but didn't know at the time is that your page should not look like this. Nobody's going to trust you if your page looks like this. It's completely blank and just has like some bot followers it looks like. But I didn't know this at the time and I went on with outreach. My outreach method of choice was typing keywords into YouTube like real estate and then sorting by upload date so it would show me the recently uploaded videos. Then I'd message these people through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, or really any other way that I could message them. I spent the first two weeks outreaching about an hour a day and didn't really get much response. And I really got discouraged and wondered why this wasn't working. And this is where most people fail or give up after about two or three weeks of outreach and they have zero clients, or in my case, one client for very cheap. And if this is you, then my advice is to just keep going and don't give up. Yeah, I know it's super basic advice, but for SMMA, this is so true. It really only takes one client to completely change your agency. And I mean, just think about this. If you 
do enough outreach, it's only a matter of time before you get a client. You can't fail if you never give up. So after a few days of giving up, I decided to get back into it. I tried some new strategies like messaging people on Twitch with 200 to 400 viewers in different categories and opening up YouTube on an incognito tab and messaging random creators that YouTube recommended me and it actually worked. I messaged a few channels and didn't expect a response because all of them had over 100,000 subscribers but I actually got a response from a YouTuber with 400,000 subscribers. Again, I sent him a sample just like for my other client and he asked for my prices. I wanted to do more fast-paced editing with motion graphics, subtitles, stuff like that. So I whipped up some new prices and sent him those. And I waited for him to respond and when he did respond, he said to give him a few days because he wanted to think about it. And those two days, I checked my DMs constantly because I knew the bigger the YouTuber, the bigger the money. Then finally, in my first period class, while playing Rocket League Sideswipe with my friend, I got a DM from him. He said he wanted to do $450 per month for 40 shorts and he said he would post it himself so there was no way I was going to deny this. Because I mean at the time I only had one client paying $100 a month. He asked to hop on a call to discuss it at 11.15 a.m. which at that time I was in my PE class so here was a clip from my locker room. Okay so right now I'm in my locker room. Okay, so it's 11.21 a.m. The call was scheduled for 11.15. He said give him two minutes, so I'm waiting. Oh, he's right there, he's calling right now. He was a little bit surprised by my age, but ended up being happy with the deal and going through with it. Now, since I was doing it with zero testimonials still, we decided he'd pay halfway through after I had completed 20 shorts. And there I was, happy as could be, after securing my second client for $450 per month in my first month of SMMA. But it all went downhill from here. I continued with the outreach and got a client they would pay me for every individual video that I edited and I ended up making $25 from that but it's now a week later and I'm deciding to quit my short form content agency and right now I'm gonna explain if SMMA is right for you if you're thinking about starting it it might seem like it was going great and it kind of was except for the fact that I had no free time I was editing for both my monthly clients as well as some clip by clip clients and also doing a ton of free samples on top of this I was going to school having a lot of homework going to the gym and in sports. I was staying up until 12 a.m. every single night doing my homework and SMMA work to make sure it was all done. And that's the reason why I'm ultimately deciding to quit. I was sacrificing my free time on weekends and weekdays just to make a little bit of extra money. And I was pretty miserable throughout the entire experience. And really, I don't wanna do something that makes me miserable and I don't have fun doing. And I've definitely realized that while it does take a lot of work to be successful, you have to enjoy your time as a high schooler or middle schooler, or maybe you're in college. But if you're in high school or middle school this only happens once in your life so make sure to enjoy it but for me it just came down to the amount of time it took so that's why i'm quitting smma but hey smma is great for a lot of people if you're not in school or have a lot of free time then it's perfect for you but if you're somebody who's very busy like me then smma is not great for you and this was definitely a fun experience i'm gonna be trying a ton of different side hustles so make sure to subscribe for that and youtube thinks you're gonna love this video seriously i had youtube choose a different video for every single viewer that they will enjoy the best. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and peace.